Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be installing a pretty big Black Friday hybrid racing haul that I got. In this particular video, I'm gonna be breaking down the parts into a couple separate videos, and you guys will see what's in store. But for this video in particular, I'm gonna be installing the hybrid racing slim dipstick to match with the hybrid racing slim oil cap that I do have currently. Now I'm gonna show you guys the oil cap. There's uh, quite a few different oil caps that are offered in the RSX or K-Series options. This is the one I went for. Here, I'll give you guys a closer look. So that is the hybrid racing oil cap. It's a very, very slim design. It sits extremely flush with, um, with the valve cover. And uh, you guys might be thinking, okay, well, how do you open it? You just, there's this little notch right there, lift it up and boom. So it's super, super well made. It's even got the logo right there, if you can pick that up super super slim for a while i had the k-tune dipstick but as you guys recall in the last video i wasn't crazy about it it was hard to um put back in and it was hard to read the oil level on there so i wasn't too crazy about that you wouldn't want to touch it after a, a long period of, of driving because it was very very hot but so i put the oem one back on and it's still painted the same color that the previous valve cover was painted um but yeah so this is the hybrid racing oil cap Super, super flush, super nice design. So it's very, very level with um, with the valve cover and it just pops right up like that. Super nice. But now we're gonna be installing this guy. Now this is the box that I got from Hybrid Racing for Black Friday. As you can tell, lots of parts, but the dipstick will come in a box like this, labeled dipstick, slim lock dipstick. Now, cool thing about this, dipstick in particular. The K-tuned uh, dipstick was kind of like a flimsy, it had some bend to it. Whereas the OEM one does not. It's, it's you know, pretty straight. It goes back in pretty nicely. This is a very, very similar design. So this is what it looks like on the inside. They give you a little kind of like um, information card about, about hybrid racing some links to follow definitely go check them out i definitely recommend them so you see how hybrid racing one compared to the k-tuned one it is just it's almost like oem plus you know what i mean super super slim design on the front it's even got the logo right there and it's got a couple different notches for depending what K-series motor you have. Now this uh, RSX is the Z1 motor, 05 uh, or 06 Type S. So the first two notches right there, there's one, two, and then those two next to each other, that's where the oil level is gonna be. Right there's gonna be low and there's high. So it's a pretty universal dipstick for K-series, K-series motors. It's not just uh, meant for the RSX, which is nice. You can use it for pretty much any K-series. They even throw in uh, like a, a pretty nice sticker on the inside, hybridracing.com. So this is it guys. Again, just like the um, just like the oil cap, it is a metal finish. It will fit, uh, sit incredibly flush with the valve cover and it, this actually pops off. So you can pull and lift it. And actually, the neat thing about this is it does have a locking mechanism. So if you guys see, there's this kind of like a rubber gasket right here. Once you push this down, it squeezes everything together and cinches that up. So people who are running um, a lot of a lot of mods on their car, they don't have to worry about the dipstick backing out. I know that's an issue that the K-Tune dipstick had. K-Tune's dipstick doesn't really lock in place. It just kind of sits there and it's got a couple thick gaskets that sometimes even makes it hard to take it off normally. But under high pressure, it can actually shoot out. And K-Tune actually designed very, very recently a little uh, bolt that you put closer to the intake manifold and it's just like a little hook that keeps it in place. This is just all in one. It just kind of locks in place and keeps it there. So we'll go ahead and put this on. Oil off this one. Now, like always, you should always compare it to um, the OEM one just to make sure. Um, so if I put this side by side, 
See, it does, it is a little bit longer, but that's to, that's to make it a, a kind of universal for all K-series. But if I look at the holes in the dipstick, they're actually almost in the exact same spaces. If not, the hybrid racing one is slightly slimmer, uh, which isn't a bad thing, but yeah, it's got those notches right there. So let's go ahead and put this guy in and see how it looks. So it went in super smoothly. Like that is incredibly smooth. I'm of course comparing it to the K-tuned dipstick. This went in first try, whereas if you guys watched the, the, the video with the K-tuned dipstick, it took me, it took me a lot longer than, you know, I'm happy to, to, to brag about. So it goes in super well and then just locks in place. And then that sucker is in there. Like there, like if you wanted to take that out without lifting this, there's no way. Like it is in there. So you gotta pop it off like this. And then you can able to pull it up. See? Actually, while I'm at it, I might as well check my oil level. Make sure it's right where it needs to be. And it is. Put that sucker back in there. Goes in super, super well. Boom. Done. And that already looks a, b a lot better. Okay. So look at that, guys. Incredibly flush. Nice HR logo. Um, uh, it's kind of, it's not, is it etched in? I mean, it could, could potentially be, or just like um, on there. But incredibly slim design. Same with the oil cap. It's already looking a lot better than the OEM one that I had. And it functions a lot better than the K-tuned one. So there it is, guys. Latch right there. Pop it up. And then it's unlocked. Push it down and it locks itself in place. That sucker is not moving and it is incredibly flush. I mean, incredibly flush. Same with the oil cap. Incredibly slim design. Same with the oil cap. It's already looking a lot better than the OEM one that I had. And it functions a lot better than the K-tuned one. So there it is, guys. Latch right there pop it up and then it's unlocked, push it down and it locks itself in place. That already looks a million times better guys. So thank you Hybrid Racing for making a great quality dipstick. You know, I can't speak for all other companies, but this one definitely has um, not only the ability to read your oil level, but it actually has another function in itself by locking in place and staying where you placed it. Thank you Hybrid Racer for making another great product. I'm super excited to install the other products I have in store for today. I'm gonna to be doing a massive um, install and uh, releasing a couple videos at a time, probably in order so that you guys don't see something changed and then it back to stock in the next video. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and we'll catch you in the next video. See you guys.